And now to the other big concern for the market these days, Greece, as we reported last night, that country has now until Sunday to strike a deal with creditors or else, they suggest, it won't be able to stay within the Eurozone. Michelle Caruso Cabrera in Athens reports on what may happen next. After last night's disastrous meeting, today Greece's new finance minister submitted yet another letter asking for a bailout. This one softer, less strident in tone. And he promised that by tomorrow he would submit a list of detailed reforms that would satisfy Greece's creditors. Still, the endless delays led to scathing criticism of the country's prime minister, Alexis Tsipras, as he attended a meeting of the European Parliament in Strasbourg, France. You are talking about reforms, but we never see concrete proposals of reforms. And I'm angry why? I'm angry why? I'm angry because we are in fact sleepwalking towards a Brexit. Already five years we are sleepwalking with the help and with the support, you hear them, of the people of the extreme right at the end. And not only we are sleepwalking, the last months we are running to a Brexit, I have more the impression, but it is not you and it is not we who shall pay the bill. It's going to be the ordinary Greek citizens who are going paying the bill of a Brexit of 30, 40 percent. You cannot have your cake and eat it. They will give you no more, these people. They can't afford to. If they give you more, they'll have to give other Eurozone members more. So your moment has come. And frankly, if you've got the courage, you should lead the Greek people out of the Eurozone with your head held high. Get back your democracy. Get back control of your country. Give your people, give your people the leadership and the hope that they crave. Here in Greece, the population, and particularly the business community, is growing increasingly concerned that an exit from the euro is the most likely outcome. For Nightly Business Report, Michelle Caruso Cabrera, Athens.